Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about the classification system of medical coding. Okay, so there are some uh, coding systems that we are uh, supposed to utilize in order to perform medical coding. So what all systems are available, how we can use, what are the condition in which the specific system is being utilized. So these things we are going to discuss in today's sessions. Okay. So we will start with a basic definition because first of all we will it is supposed to learn about the classification system then we one by one we will cover the basic terminology used for these systems okay so what is classification system of medical coding so here I have noted down the classification system in medical coding refers to a systematic organization of code used to represent various healthcare diagnosis procedures service and product so let's say you are working as a medical coder so new you need some system where you will find all the organized code the systematic code because those codes you are going to use in order to uh, uh, in order to use codes for mapping because the role of medical coder is to provide the specific code against the uh, medical terminology or medical documents so these code you will find inside these medical coding system so it will provide you it will provide you the systematic organized codes okay then here it is mentioned the primary purpose of classification system is to provide a standardized and structured way of encoding medical information for purpose such as billing insurance claim statistics analysis and its research so as we know that these all are the correlated terms like billing is there, insurance claim is there, statistics analysis is there. Okay, so to complete all these process or to uh, provide a better service to customer or uh, maybe we can say patient or an insurance company, what we will do, we will go through these classification system which will provide us a structured way for encoding medical formation. Okay. And then those medical information is uh, used further in order to process claims. Okay, so this is the basic definition of classification system of medical coding. Now, what all co common classification systems are available? Let's see. The first one is International Classification of Disease (ICD). Then we have CPT, which is Current Procedural Terminology. Then we have HCPCS which is healthcare common procedure coding system then we have ndc which is national drug code and then we have cdt which is dental procedure codes and la at last on line number 6 4.6 i have mentioned other system because there are few more things that uh, a coder can re refer in order to fetch some information from there so we will also discuss those additional systems you can say okay but if you talk about a general way like in you you have heard about these terms mostly the cpt the icd and hspcs some these are the some uh, coding standard which is widely used across the world okay so now we have basic idea what all systems we have now one 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 by one i will tell you some more detail about these things but remember that these are the complete topics like these are the complete su uh, subjects so there are many information which we can learn you can learn about these systems okay so for now for time being we will just go through the basic definitions and later in the upcoming session for the series we will discuss each and every system one by one okay so let's move further the first one is international classification of diseases ICD now what is ICD-10 CM? It is clinical modification and here it is mentioned this system is used for coding diagnosis in outpatient and inpatient settings. Now these are the two terms uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you are not aware of these two terms so what we will do we will discuss th about these two terms in the upcoming session for time being I will just tell you the basic thing like outpatient is a patient who is just visiting doctor and taking prescriptions but if you talk about inpatient setting then these are the patient who are who are uh, admitted in, in the hospital let's say if there is one patient who is hospitalized then he will be considered as inpatient settings 
but the patient who is uh, just visit who is visiting the doctor in just to take some pre prescriptions and diseases uh, for their diseases then he will be considered in outpatient settings okay all right further it is written here it provides alphanumeric codes to represent a wide range of medical conditions and diseases okay so it provides a medical code because this is the overall structure we are learning about this system because we want a structure code structure of code like uh, so it is mentioned it provides alphanumeric code to represent a wide range of medical conditions and diseases then we have icd 10 pcs which is procedure coding system so from name itself it is clear that it is something related to procedure so here it is mentioned specifically designed for coding procedures performed in hospital inpatient setting so as i explained you whenever a, uh, a medical treatment is provided to any patient by after hospitalizing him then this type of setting will be considered as inpatient setting so this, this is specifically designed for coding procedures okay all right it uses alphanumeric codes to describe surgical and medical procedures so whenever there is a need to code uh, something related to the surgical and medical procedures then we will look for the icd-10 pcs okay so we have learned about two things clinical modification icd-10 cm and then we have icd-10 pcs which is procedure coding system fine the second th uh, thing we have is current procedural terminology cpt so who developed the cpt cpt is main developed and maintained by the american medical association which is ama okay and why we use cpt is a comprehensive system used for coding and medical uh, coding medical procedures and services so let's say uh, we are performing an operation uh, for some uh, diagnosis then in that case we need some comprehensive system that provides the information regarding the procedures and services okay and it include code for variety of healthcare provisional services now what are the services services uh, something relevant to the ambulance service and other services also there so for such things we will refer to the cpt okay so two things is covered international uh, classification of diseases icd and cpt now we have healthcare common procedure coding system which is hcpcs so we have two parts here first hipex level 1 cpt this level include codes for physician and outpatient service now what is outpatient service whenever a person is visiting only for the initial treatment we can say uh, only for the uh, he is facing some issue and he visited the doctor just for the prescription uh, purpose let's say doctor is pro doctor has provided some prescription to him for the disease he is suffering so that type of services uh, comes under this outpatient service it correspond to the cpt code okay then we have hipex level 2 this level include alphanumeric code used for identifying products supplies and services not included in level 1 okay so there are many services and supplies which is not come covered during the hipex level 1 which is further you uh, process during this hipex level 2 all right it is commonly used for items such as durable medical equipment drug and ambulance services okay then we have ndc national drug code the ndc is a unique three segment numeric identifier used to identifying drug it is primarily used for pharmacy billing and uh, tracking drug uses then we have dental procedure code which is cdt the cdt codes are used in den dentistry to represent dental procedure and services these codes are part of american dental association system for coding dental procedure so let's say if there is something uh, there is a need to process uh, something related to the dental procedures then we will look for the cdt cdt classification system all right then we have some additional system like sno med ct which is systemized nomenclature of medical clinical terms used for encoding 
clinical terms and expression in electronic health records then we have logical observation identifying names and codes used for identifying exchanging clinical laboratory observation so whenever uh, something is related to the clinical laboratory observation then we will look for this logical observation identifier names and code and at last we have national provider identifier which is npi while not uh, not a coding system it is not a coding system just additional information the npi is a unique identifier for healthcare provider facilitating accurate identification for billing and administrative purposes okay so yeah these are the some uh, mostly useful or uh, used classification medical medical coding classification system i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sharmit